Hi, my name is Mark, and I'm going to use Tinkercad to build a hinge like you might find uh, in a finger or a door or something like that. So let's get started. First, I'm going to grab a cylinder here, and I'm just going to place it right there. And then I'm going to grab another one, and I'm going to place it right next to it. And I'm going to shrink it down to about the size of five, and then I'm going to rotate it like that. And then I'm going to uh, uh, copy it and copy one over there. And uh, now I'm going to copy it again. This over here for the next one. And this one here I'm going to copy. And I'm going to move this one over here. Like that. So the first one, I'm going to group these two together. And I'm going to uh, uh, group them using the... Uh, group uh, button up here. Now they're grouped. I'm going to change the color so it's easy to see. Uh, let's make it that color. Then I'm going to slide it over to this one here. And if you press the control button and the up arrow, uh, you can uh, move this upward. So that looks good to me. So um, now I'm going to uh, group these together. And that's one part of the hinge. Now I'm going to slide this other piece all the way over using the uh, row buttons. And then I'm going to raise it up just like that. One more. Right. Now what I should have done before on this was align everything. And I didn't align everything. So I'm going to do that again. So this one here. And this one here, and then let's click align. See, they're not aligned. So, but now they are. Okay, now I'm going to regroup them. And I'm going to do the same thing to this one here. I'm going to align this using the align button. And they are already aligned. So let's change the color of this so they're very easy to see. There's a green one. This is an orange one. So what I'm going to do now is to group these two together. Just like that. And now I'm going to flip it. And if you keep the your your mouse on the inside of the circle, it will snap into place every 15 degrees. On the outside of the circle, it moves one degree at a time. We want it to flip into place every 15 degrees. And there we go. And now we're going to hold down control and go up and go over. Up. We're going to turn it and look at it kind of right, kind of what I'm looking for. Hold down shift and press the button. And now I'm going to align this one. Okay, that looks okay. This side looks okay. <clears throat> now to make a hinge, I need a pin in the middle of it somehow. So this is a little bit tricky, but I'll make it easy for you. So I'm going to make this five and five. Five, five. Five seems to be a really good uh, size for doing what I'm gonna do. Okay, let's turn that 90 degrees. Let's just stretch it out. Stretch it out ahead of time. I'm gonna move it over here and that's about centered, close to it anyway. Move that to about the center. And then go and go up, hold down control, arrow key. Okay, so we really don't want it centered because if, uh, when we test this in SimLab later, it's not going to work if part of it's in, in, in the other one. It really needs to be uh, in both of these, clearly in both of these. So that's gonna work there, that's gonna work there. Okay, so the next thing to do is to put holes in this piece and this piece here going through. Now to do this uh, properly, we will take this one here and turn it into a hole, and then we will duplicate it twice. Duplicate, duplicate. Now what we're gonna do now is to put a hole in the, in the middle one first by selecting the shape 
and selecting the whole. Before I go further, when I when we duplicate it, it puts it in the exact same position as the one you're duplicating. Uh, when you copy it, moves it off to the right a little bit. So we want this in the exact same position so the holes are exactly the same going through. So I'm gonna click here, and then I'm gonna click here one time. And when you group them, it cuts the, it cuts the shape. And, and if we look close, we can see that I've got a hole there now where I didn't have before. And if you look at the outside one, the hole is not here yet. So now I'm gonna click on the plane to deselect everything. And then I'm gonna click here and then I'm gonna click my pen again. And you'll notice that when I click group, it should cut the hole into this one. And it does. And then I look through all the way and I got a perfect hole there. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is to uh, make this a solid again. And then I'm gonna resize it because I don't want it touching anything when we do the sim lab. So first thing I'm going to do is select here and then uh, select three. <coughs> Try that again. Three. Uh, let's turn it sideways. Okay, so that's going to be three. And this one here is going to be three. The top and the side, three. Okay, now if you look inside, it's almost uh, perfectly in the middle. Uh, but first, let's uh, line it up so we can see what we're doing. Press Control, go up and then over. Now, if it doesn't move into shape, go ahead and press the uh, snap grid to put it about 0.5. And it should snap into place. You know what? That looks pretty good right there. I'm just going to go with that. And I'm going to turn it like this. And I'm going to group this bar and this one together. First, I'm going to center it because it doesn't look centered at all. So I'm going to center this one here and that one like that. Now that moves, so I'm going to have to adjust things a bit. I'm going to put that there. Okay. And now this other one here, uh, let's First, let's group this together. So this one and this one and group. Okay, let's give that a different color. Okay, so now I'm going to take this one and this one and I'm gonna line them up. Okay, that is good. That is ready to go. Is that? Let's, that doesn't look even. So I'm going to ungroup that top one and this one and uh wait let's ungroup and i'm going to move this into place because that doesn't look even to me i'm going to hold this down i'm going to select the middle and then move it over just a little bit that looks better to me and group it again group okay i'm happy with that different color okay so now what we're going to do is go into the sim lab to prove this this design works so we press the sim lab button it's a little apple in the top right corner and it takes us to the sim lab sim lab has a little play button down here and what it does it allows gravity to take to manipulate these objects you know so um, the first thing we do is to secure the base and uh, I'm going to make that Make sure it's static. So this little button here, the, the ball rolling down the hill is, means it's dynamic. So I don't want it dynamic. So I'm going to make static. And this one here should be the ball rolling down the hill, and it is. Okay, so now let's change the material a little bit. I always like mine to be steel. And this one also will be steel, just like that. And that looks good. Now, the first time you hit play, it usually blows apart. I don't know why that is. Maybe that's a glitch in the software. But let's hit play or the space bar. And it worked right off the bat. Wow, look at that. That just That's how it's supposed to work. It's supposed to fall over just like that. And that is that. So now you would 3D print it because you know it works. Uh, okay, so if you have any questions, let me know. Looks like a cannon, huh? 
Thanks for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. Bye bye.